Welcome to the Defeating Epilepsy Foundation YouTube channel. In this presentation, we will discuss what autoimmune epilepsy is, its causes, diagnosis, signs and symptoms, and treatment. Make sure to like our videos and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell to be notified of future videos. Please click on our donate link in the description section below and donate today. Your donation helps us to make a difference for those battling epilepsy. We appreciate your support. Autoimmune epilepsy is a group of epilepsies mediated by all kinds of autoimmune reactions. There are several autoimmune conditions that lead to the individual having seizure activity. Autoimmune epilepsy also includes febrile illness-related refractory seizures, new onset refractory status epileptus, and cerebral autoinflammatory diseases, and epilepsy induced by systemic autoimmune disorders. Many of the cases of autoimmune epilepsy involve autoimmune limbic encephalitis. Autoimmune limbic encephalitis is defined as an inflammatory disease involving the medial temporal lobes, resulting in short-term memory deficits, seizures, or psychiatric symptoms. Diagnosis for autoimmune limbic encephalitis was first presented in the article, A Clinical Approach to Diagnosis of Autoimmune Encephalitis, published in 2016 by Francis Gross and colleagues of his. The diagnosis criteria, known as the Gross criteria, consists of the following. Subacute onset of working memory deficit, seizures, or psychiatric symptoms suggesting involvement of the limbic system. Bilateral brain abnormalities on T2, weighted fluid, attenuated inversion recovery, MRI highly restricted to the medial temporal lobes. At least one of the following must also take place. Cerebral spinal fluid plaocytosis, EEG with epileptic or slow wave activity involving the temporal lobes. Reasonable exclusion of alternative causes. Tests that are conducted to diagnose autoimmune epilepsy include cerebral spinal fluid analysis, neuroimaging, electroencephalogram, autoantibody test, and brain biopsy. There are many situations that can cause autoimmune epilepsy. Prodromal or early symptoms can be fever, headache, dizziness, insomnia, upper respiratory infection. Symptoms that are caused by autoimmune limbic encephalitis include altered mental status, psychiatric symptoms, or memory deficits. Depending on the type of encephalitis is diagnosed, additional symptoms can include psychosis, dyskinesia, hypoventilation, autonomic dysfunction, seizures, refractory status epileptus, and memory decline. Tumors can cause symptoms of autoimmune epilepsy. Examples include ovarian tumors, thymoma, small cell lung cancer, and neuroendocrine tumors. A spinal tap can help in detecting any bacteria that can mimic autoimmune epilepsy, such as Listera, tuberculosis, and Borrelia. Magnetic Renaissance imaging can detect hyperintensities in the medial temporal lobes or multifocal brain lesions. Electroencephalograms can help to detect seizure activity. Autoantibody tests can provide a diagnosis of autoimmune encephalitis and is recommended for any patient that is suspected of having it. For patients who are not responding to empirical immunotherapy, a brain biopsy may be done. The purpose of the biopsy is to exclude other conditions such as lymphoma, primary angitis of the central nervous system, demyelinating disease, or other malignancies. Autoimmune epilepsy is treated by immunotherapy, removal of an immunologic trigger such as a tumor, and anti-epileptic medications. Immunotherapy is divided into two treatment cycles, the acute phase, then the maintenance phase. Depending on the severity of the case, we'll decide on how aggressive of action needs to be taken with treatment. 
Anticonvulsant medications help with the maintenance phase to prevent seizure activity. In the article, Autoimmune Epilepsy, the authors pointed out that sodium channel blockers such as carbazafen, phenytoin, oxcarbazafen, and lecosamide have the best success in controlling seizure activity. Surgery has been tried in some cases of autoimmune epilepsy, but studies show that the outcome seemed to be worse compared to other forms of drug-resistant epilepsy. Autoimmune epilepsy is a group of epilepsies mediated by all kinds of autoimmune reactions. Many causes of autoimmune epilepsy involve autoimmune, limbic, encephalitis. The GRAS criteria is used to make a diagnosis when it comes to autoimmune encephalitis. Different signs and symptoms can take place depending on the cause. Treatment options include immunotherapy, antiepileptic medication, and surgery. To learn more about autoimmune epilepsy, please check out the resources used in the presentation today. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on our social media pages. We would love to hear from you. Leave a comment below or email us at info at defeatingepilepsy.org. Thank you for your support and together we will defeat epilepsy. Check out our other great videos and subscribe today. You have the power to defeat epilepsy.